Hi all, welcome back to new video. So let's discuss about how to manage re-invoice expense in Odoo 16 project module. Re-invoice expense to the customers in Odoo refers to the process of charging customers to the expense that have incurred on their behalf. It is a feature that allows you to bill the customers for the any expenses on their behalf. The expenses can be accommodation, meal and service charge. When you re-invoice the expenses in Odoo, you can charge the additional amount along with the original amount. Imagine you are running a consulting company and you need to travel from your location to the service location of the client. So during the trip, you may go through various expenses like airfare, hotel, accommodation, food and so on. So let's see how to manage re-invoice expense in Odoo 16 project module. Let's see how to re-invoice expense to the customers. So in order to re-invoice expense to the customers, first we need to activate the analytic accounting from the accounting module. For that, you can get into the accounting module and under configuration settings, we have a section called uh, analytics. So we need to enable the feature called analytic accounting. So this would allow you to track cost and revenues by projects and uh, department so that you can change the uh, settings and save. After that, we need to create product. So we know that reinvoice to the customers uh, means in some situations, the employee will be taking the expense from his side. So the company is responsible to give back that money. But we have to charge the expense, that is the additional expense from the uh, customer. So in such cases, we will be reinvoicing that expense to the customer. So let's create uh, a product for that. Just get into the sales module and we can see product. Let me create a new product and you can set the name of the product as accommodation. After that, as we have uh, activated the uh, expense module here we have a field called can be expensed so you can uh, choose this field and uh, set the product type as service then you can uh, also uh, set the invoicing policy on based on delivered quantity as well as we are not creating uh, on order and you can set the invoicing uh, ex reinvoice expense as at cost here I'm setting the uh, unit of measurement as days because we will be making accommodation in days and you can also set the sales price and sales price and cost also uh, need to ensure that uh, you have set the proper category so here we have to set the category as all expenses after that you can save this and under accounting we also need to set an expense account Here you can search for expense account and yeah, we have saved. Now we also need to create another product. So let me choose a uh, new to create another product and you have to set it as can be expensed and letting the name of the product be client meeting. And you can set the product type as surveys and making the invoicing policy based on timesheet. And you can create on project and uh, task as well as you can also set the project template. So let me create a new project template. Uh, let the uh, name of the project template be auto consultants. So let me create a new project template. So if you want to get into the internal view, you can do so so that you can see all other details. Now let's back to the product that we are creating and letting the reinvoice expense to be at cost. And we have to set the product category as all expenses as well as uh, you can also set the sales price and cost. Also letting the unit of measurement to be in hours. Okay. So we have done with the products. Now we need to generate a quotation. So in order to generate a quotation, just get into the orders and click on new button to generate a quotation. Here you can fill the details of the customer and you can choose the product in the order line. So let me choose the product in the order line as client meeting. So when you choose the product here, you can see the description of the product, the quantity and the unit of measurement. And if you do not 
want the tax to be shown then you can just remove that and i'm letting the quantity to be eight so this will be marking in eight hours and let me confirm save and confirm the quotation so as i have confirmed the quotation you can see that uh, we have set uh, the creation on project and task a project and task is generated here so under project you can see uh, the project is generated with the sale order number along with the i mean followed by the project name and here we can give the uh, details of the uh, project and under settings if you want to make any further changes you can do so and uh, let's back to the sale order and let's choose the uh, task that we are that we have created here we can set uh, the customer and all now if you want to give more description regarding the task then you can give that and uh, you can also set the timesheet so let me allocate uh, the time for the employee now here we can also set the time and you can set as task completed as a description so we have done with the uh, timesheet and all now what we have to do is we need to um, yeah re-invoice this expense to the customer so for that let's get into the uh, expense module and under expense module uh, let me click on new in order to generate a new expense and when you choose a category the name of the expense will be automatically configured here so here you can choose uh, the category so uh, as we have set the customer to invoice uh, as a uh, cost the cost is configured here and the quantity is shown here and now you can see all the details like included tax the employee expense date account everything now we can also set the customer to reinvoice so here you can choose a customer to reinvoice so let me choose that and when you choose a customer to reinvoice analytic account will be automatically configuring here and you can save this expense so as you save the expense um yeah currently this is in to submit state and if you want to attach the receipt you can attach that and if you want to create report you can create report so you can see that the expense is currently in trap state now when the um uh, when you if you want to submit this to the manager you can click on submit to manager so that this will be moving to the submitted state and you can see that an expense is generated uh, which is in submitted state and also you can see a sale order is generated so here you can see client meeting was eight hours and uh, um, the total expenses uh, shown here now uh, here we can see the project task as well as uh, the recorded hours expense that has generated everything is shown there now uh, if the manager has approved then uh, you can go with approve or if the manager is refused we can uh, go with refused so currently here manager is approving so let me click on the approve button so that this will be moving to the approved state and if you want to uh, pause the journal entries you can click on paused journal entries so that this will be moving to the posted state so under journal entries here you can see uh, currently this is moved to the posted state which means that the journal entries has posted and under journal items you can see the expenses and uh, uh, the tax paid as well as uh, the uh, accounts payable and everything now let's back to the accommodation itself now when you back to the expenses here you can see this is currently in approved state now we need to make it as paid and under sale order also you can get every details so let me create an invoice for this so in order to create an invoice just click on uh, create invoice so that you can generate invoice so uh, here you can see uh, the analytic account is automatically configured here for both the product client meeting and accommodation so here we can see uh, the total um, expense uh, of the product and let me confirm that after that you can click on register payment in order to make the payment so you can set the journal bank payment method I mean payment method and you can see the total amount and all so click on create payment uh, in order to uh, complete the payment so currently this is in in payment state after reconciliation this will be moving to the bank 
so here you can see an invoice has generated so yeah all set now when you back to the expenses you can again click on view report uh, to move that to the payment state so now let's make a payment for the accommodation so let's click on register payment and click on create payment so that this will be moving to the paid state so uh, currently we have made payment uh, to the employee michel admin for both accommodation as well as uh, for client meeting now we can also uh, yeah reinvoice to the customer based on sales price so for that let me go back to the sales module and we need to repeat the same step so let's choose the product that we have created that is client meeting here we need to change uh, the reinvoice re expense as sales price and uh, you also need to change the sales price and cost uh, because otherwise uh, this won't be getting properly so let me change everything now uh, you can save that after that uh, we also need to change uh, the ch I mean make changes in accommodation and setting it as reinvoice expense in sales price and letting the sales price to be 1100 and cost to be 1000 after that let's create uh, a quotation so let me create a quotation with another customer which be audi peterson and you can fill the details uh, that is client meeting and i'm marking it as a uh, five hour and you can see uh, the total price if you don't want to set the tags you can remove that and you can confirm the order so as you confirm the order a project and task will be created and you can view the project and task associated with the um, sale order number now you can also mark the timesheet so let me mark the timesheet over here after that you can save all the changes so here you can see the sale order associated with this uh, project now let's back to the uh, expense module after that you can click on new in order to generate the expense here you can choose uh, the expense category as accommodation so that the category will be automatically configured and as you set the reinvoice expense based on sales price you can see that the unit price is automatically configured here and the unit uh, is uh, shown here for that and uh, we can also set the customer to reinvoice and as you choose the customer to reinvoice the analytic account is automatically configured here so let me create a report for this so uh, i need to submit this expense to the manager so i'm submitting so i have submitted the expense to the manager and manager will be approving that after that approval this can be posted uh, so before that uh, we need to see the expenses here we can see the expenses currently in approved state and uh, we can also see the sales uh, yeah now let's create a new quotation for that you can fill the details of the customer let the customer be azure interior and you can set the uh, product as client meeting and uh, you can also set uh, the quantity uh, so i'm letting to be five hour so when you confirm this you can see a project and task will be created and if you want to add details regarding the description you can set that uh, uh, of the project and you can also set the uh, details of task so let's get into the task and here you can see uh, everything associated with the task and you can also view the sale order associated now let me uh, choose the date and let's set uh, the hour that we are spending for the task and save now let's back to my ex i mean expense module and we need to create an expense so for that click on new button and here you can choose a category so let me choose a category as accommodation so as you choose the accommodation as a category all other details will be automatically configured 
Now we need to uh, fill the customer to reinvoice. So here you can choose a customer to reinvoice so that the analytic account will be automatically configured. You can save the changes if you want to attach the receipt you can do so or you can clear, uh, create the report and you can also submit this to the manager so that uh, we have submitted and then expenses generated as well as sale order associated with this can be also viewed here. So we can see uh, the sale order associated with this and we need to make payment. So uh, before that we need to approve, I mean manager will be approving this expense so that will be moving to the approved state and uh, if you want to post the journal entries of the expense you can click on post journal entries so that this will be moving to the posted state under journal entries you can view all the details regarding uh, the expenses and under journal items you can see how the depict and credit has happened and uh, let's back to the accommodations and let's make uh, the payment by clicking on register payment so that you can choose the journal uh, payment method and all and you can see the amount uh, so let me set it as create payment so that after reconciliation the payment will be moving to the back and uh, we also need to create an uh, yeah uh, invoice for the sale order so here you can see uh, the amount everything is uh, shown here for accommodation as we have set it as based on reinvoice expense based on sales price you can see uh, the uh, for the accommodation and for client meeting that amount is considered and you can view the total uh, amount now we can generate uh, the invoice for that now let me create an invoice with regular invoice and in order to make payment just confirm so click on register payment and complete the payment after reconciliation the payment will be moving to the back so this is how Odoo manage customer to reinvoice. So that's all about today. So thank you for watching the video. 